My name is Matt and I'm an Applications Engineer with Intersil Corporation. In this video, I'd like to walk you through the design steps of iSIM using the ISL 8240M dual 20 amp or single 40 amp power module. Let's take a look. From the product information page, click the Simulate button. If you have not registered and logged in, you will be prompted to do so now. In the first page, you will be prompted to choose a certain topology. The first option is to have a dual output 20 amps each, or you can have a single output at 40 amps. In this example, we'll walk through the dual 20 amp version. This next page is the setup page. This is where you will input your circuit's parameters, such as input voltage, output voltage, and your output current. For this example, we'll go ahead and use a 12 volt input, a 2.5 volt output at 15 amps, and a 1.5 volt output at 20 amps. When finished, press design. The next page is the design page. Here you can see your full schematic and all of the component values. If you would like to change any values, click on the component and a new window will open. Once you are finished updating the component, press OK. The first thing we will do is run the AC analysis. Go ahead and click the Configure button to change any of the parameters, like your start and stop frequency. Once you are done, click Save. When you are ready, click the AC analysis button. Once the analysis is complete, click the OK button to open the web scope window. Since this is a dual output part, each output will have its own Bode plot. The main reason to run an AC analysis is to get phase margin and the bandwidth. To get phase margin, click on the drop down menu next to the loop phase and then select margin. On the right hand side, it will give you the phase margin. This particular case it is 56 degrees. Next, go to the loop gain drop down and select F cross, which is your bandwidth. This specific case has a 90 kilohertz crossover. Let's go back to the first Bode plot and do the same thing. Select margin under loop phase. This one has a 75.7 .7 degree phase margin. And the crossover is 59 kilohertz. Once you have completed, close the web scope window. The next item to look at is the bill of materials tab. Some components will require you to do some manual input. To do this, click on the magnifying glass icon. From here, you can looser the filter criteria in order to get more parts. In this case, we have one, so I will click on the arrow to select it. Do the same for the rest of the user selection required parts. Once you have a full completed bill of materials, you can then export it to an Excel by clicking on this link. If you would like to start over, you can click the redesign button to create a new circuit. Let's head back to the schematic page to finish up. You now have two options that you can take. The first one is to create a design summary. Shown in the design summary is the design parameters, your schematic with all of your component values, any waveforms from the analyses you have completed, and a condensed part list. This part list can be downloaded by clicking on the download button and can be viewed in Excel. To download the complete design summary, go back to the top and click PDF download. The second option you have is to click download schematic and move to ISMPE. For more information on ISMPE, the offline simulation tool that complements the online tool, please see application note AN1652 in videos available on ISIM landing page. You can get more information on the ISL 8240M and our other power modules on our website. You can download data sheets, order eval boards, and register for ISIM. Go to innersil.com forward slash power modules. Thanks for watching.